John Myler is set to take the reins of Kerry Hurling. Myler, originally from Wexford, will return season. to his native county as senior hurling manager. Myler is set to take on the Rebels' top job on a two year term. I was born in 56, and my father then had photographs of the 56 All Ireland. He got them framed, he put them up in the bar at home. And where you saw the records and you saw Wheeler and you saw Art Foley and all of those. By the time I was three, four, five, I would have seen this picture, this frame of the Wexford hurling team playing Cork in 56. Two minutes to go. Ryan passes it into right. Up he goes, pounds the ball, goes round his man, and there it is. The goal to settle the match. It was really the start of my kind of love affair with hurling. This was something that you could aspire to. My relaxation is in the garden and in cycling. I absolutely love, you know, pottering around in the garden in the morning. Then I get up on the bike and I go cycle for an hour, two hours, three hours. That allows me to get away from everything. And that's really where I get my relaxation. I came here in 74 and studied chemistry in UCC and uh, met a cock woman, stayed here and never went home. And um, in 1980, I decided to sign with St. Finbar's. And then I was asked in 83 to, you know, would I play for Cork? I saw it as an opportunity to try and win an Ireland medal. It's a compliment, it's a challenge. But I've embraced any challenge I've faced. And I've had huge challenges. 83 in Parky Keeve, and we were all brought out into the middle of the pitch before the All-Ireland semi-final against Galway. 24 names were called out, or two weren't. I was one of those, and then I went back out to the bars that night and I trained as hard as I could. In my day, you come in, you just tugged off, and you went out, you trained, you came back in, had a bit of grub and went home. You need to look at the player outside of the three hours of training. Looking after a player outside of training is probably more important than actually training itself. The whole holistic picture is the psychological edge. There's pressure from the outside, but we all put pressure on ourselves to achieve your objective, to achieve your goal. I've achieved that as a player, but I haven't achieved it as a manager. And that's ultimately what you want to do. The, the expectation in, in Kerry and Carlo is that you want to compete. You're not going to win the All-Ireland. The expectation in Wexford and Cork is that you, you need to win the All-Ireland. That's the bottom line. The book stops with the manager. If you win, you're right. If you don't, you're wrong. And ultimately, there are only two types of managers, those that are about to be fired and those that are fired. So you know what's coming if you don't win, and success is, is demanded, and that's it. Challenges are only obstacles put in front of you to test you. Embrace the challenge. Look forward to the challenge. Always look forward to it because it's an opportunity. I've always tried to leave the county in a better position than what I found.